Oh, me? Yeah, you. Do you own an EV3 robot kit? Uh, a what? Well, we have the perfect gyro sensor program for you. Who's we? We're the Wrong Brothers, bringing you EV3 programs since yesterday. Um, are you guys legit? Don't you know that two wrongs make a right? Uh, I guess. So basically the gyro sensor is a new sensor that came with EV3 that can be used for making your robot awesomer. But we didn't always know they were for robots. We sold one to NASA and this happened. We're sorry, NASA. That's when we learned they don't work on rockets. Apparently, they work on robots. Wait, so why didn't it work? Drift! But we fixed Drift by doing this reset. Our brilliant design team designed this piece of code to fix Drift. It is the undocumented gyro reset, which is a gyro read angle and rate block, followed by a gyro read angle and then wait for completion. These two blocks are followed by a four second delay that makes the robot wait until the reset is complete. But I don't even know what drift is or what if EV3 is. Drift is when your robot's gyro sensor value changes, even when your robot is standing still. Our sleeper, our intern, will demonstrate this. I can make the gyro sensor drift by starting the robot while I'm holding it. After the robot starts up, I can put it down and select the gyro sensor port, and you can see the numbers changing. Oh, how? I have absolutely no idea whatsoever. You can leave now, Slave. Okay, so you guys are trying to sell me a product that I know nothing about, and this is a complete waste of time. But wait, we haven't even told you about what we're advertising for. He's right. The code for our program is what we're trying to sell you. Kill me now. Here's our spectacular code. After the three reset blocks, we defined variables. Variables are blocks used to store data. We defined two numeric variables named gain and power. Then we reset the motor rotations because we use that to measure distance. After that, we start a loop. Inside the loop is a gyro sensor read angle block, which is then fed into a multiplication block along with the gain. The product of this equation is then fed into a new numeric variable named correction. The correction and power variables are fed into two equations. One of the equations adds correction to power for one motor, and the other subtracts correction from power for the other motor. These two equations work because when we are going straight, the gyro sensor reads at an angle of zero. When the robot turns off the straight line, the gyro sensor reads either a positive or negative non-zero angle value, proportional to how far the robot is from the straight line. We then have type 3 comparison to end the loop. Or, in other words, we loop until the rotation value of the B motor is greater than or equal to the desired amount, rotations in our case. I still don't get it. That doesn't matter. All you have to do is purchase our product and you'll have your own personal code. Exactly. And all you'll have to do is give us your money. It's a zero dollar value for just 13 payments of $57,000. So buy now and you'll walk away thinking, wow, I just completely wasted my money and now I'm in debt. Here are some reviews from our happy customers. I hate this product. Please sign here, sir. I'm filing for bankruptcy right now. Don't buy this product. You'll be broke. Sir, Scar, excuse me. It changed my life. Now I have a cardboard box and a robot that doesn't turn. No! I love this. Now I'm rich because I bought it. You should get it too. So buy now and you will <coughs> won't regret it.
from the Wrong Brothers.